This video is sponsored by Lingoda. Save 15% on language courses with code RUBOS1. Recently I stumbled, as I often do, across one of those amazing facts that you never knew about Germany, and it made me stop and think. Mostly because it was in a list that contained some facts that I've already debunked, but also because it didn't make any sense. Yes, I read those lists. It's not always easy to think of things to make videos about. The fact was this. Pillows are considered to be passive weapons in Germany. There was a source cited for this fact, but it was a book called The Puffin Book of 1000 Fun Facts, which isn't a title that inspires confidence. Apart from anything else, I didn't know what a passive weapon was, and neither did the compilers of that list, because they illustrated it with a picture of a young couple having a very enjoyable pillow fight. I mean, if that's what a passive weapon is, and I'm all for it. But that seems rather unlikely, so I did a little digging around. But that turned out not to be very easy. You find a lot of stuff about weapons being hidden under pillows, but nothing at all about pillows being considered weapons. So what is a passive weapon? The original German word is in fact Schutzwaffe, which literally translated means protection weapon, and it's defined as gear which is designed not to attack another person, but to protect the bearer against another person's use of a weapon. For example, a bulletproof vest would qualify as a passive weapon. As far as I can tell, pillows don't count because they're not designed to protect people. They could be used as protection, although they might not be very effective. Similarly, you could use a pillow as an active weapon by using it to smother somebody, for example, but that doesn't mean that it is a weapon. But if you look at the law on public gatherings, there is a section there about passive weapons. It is not legal to carry passive weapons or anything that could be used as a passive weapon to a gathering in the open air if the intention is to hinder law enforcement. There was an interesting case in August of this year. A Blockupy protester was found guilty of violating this law by wearing a plastic film around her head. The court ruled that this was to protect her against the pepper spray used by the police. Her lawyer, on the other hand, had, unsuccessfully, claimed that this wasn't her intention. In fact, since it had the phrase 99% printed on it, it was there purely as part of her right to free speech. He complained that the court hadn't even considered the question of whether this film was any good at protecting her against pepper spray at all. To be honest, I do have to wonder if he, the defence lawyer, thought to make that point during the trial. In that case, the court wasn't ruling that plastic film is a passive weapon. It ruled that the defendant had used it as a passive weapon. I still haven't heard of a case involving a pillow, but if there is one, I can guess what it might have been. Somebody used a pillow to defend themselves against some sort of attack, and the attacker tried to suggest that the pillow had been used as a weapon. The court, however, ruled that it had been used as a passive weapon, in other words, that it was self-defence. Whatever. The most important lesson is not to pay too much attention to lists of amazing facts even ones that cite their sources. I'd like to thank my sponsor, Lingoda, the online language school. What I really like about it is that you use the magic of the internet to attend virtual classes of about five students with real, live human teachers. You can learn German or English or French or Spanish from qualified native speakers. Follow the link in the description and use the code RUBOS1 for a 15% discount. The fact was this. Pillows are considered to be passive weapons in Germany. There was a site... A site? There was a site sorted... Oh. It ruled that the defendant had used it as a plastic weapon. No.